Wombat Stew by Marcia K. Vaughan and illustrated by Pamela Lofts. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat and decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, <gasps> gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy wombat stew. Patapus came ambling up the bank. Oh, good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What's all that water for? I'm brewing a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. Hmm, if you ask me, said the platypus, the best for gooey stew is a man, big blobs of billabong man. <laughs> blobs of man? Dingo laughed. Oh, what a good idea. Right ho, here they go. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billabong. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew! Waltzing out from the shade of the iron box came Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. <laughs> oh, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Oh, gooey, chewy wombats to you, boasted Dingo. <sighs> if only we were a bit more chewy, she said. Oh, but don't worry. A few feathers will set it right. Feathers, smiled Dingo. Mm, that would be chewy. Right, oh, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped the finest feathers. Round and round the bubbling blue, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Old Blue Tongue the Lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stern. Silly Dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright Blue tongue. Ah, oh, there's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Right, oh, in they go. And so Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Round and round and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dust hopped Echidna. Oh, wait a minute. Not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now, I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me, for a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. <laughs> Dingo wagged his tail. Ha <laughs> Why? I should have thought of that. right oh, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies. and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clever dingo stirred and stirred, all the while singing, Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh, so nicey, wombat stew. <laughs> Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Oh, oh, look here. Oh, he yawned. Any bush cook knows. 
You can't make stewie stew without donuts. <laughs> Leave it to Koala to think of donuts. <laughs> Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Right oh, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, Koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Ah, said Dingo. <sighs> now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. Wait, stop. Hang on there, Dingo. Oh, you can't put the wombat in the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. All right, oh, I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. <coughs> I'm poisoned, he yelled. You all tricked me. And he dashed away deep into the bush. Never again to see on that stew, on that stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, on that stew. <laughs>